greatest art forms of India, Varli painting is cultural intellectual property of the tribal community Varlis or Varan. Found around 10th century AD, this art form can be traced back to Neolithic age. How did this unique style of painting come into existence? And how were they made? Come, let us explore this fascinating tribe and learn about their unique style of painting. Amidst the majestic mountains and plush green forests, you can find these tribes in the district of Dhanu. The term Varli is derived from Varla or Varal, meaning a piece of land. Originally hunters, the Varli tribe later settled down as tenders of agriculture. The foundation of Varli community was laid by Chandya Gondya Bhilia, now worshipped as Vagdev. The Varlis never worshipped man-made idols. People of the village would pick up small rocks that spoke with them in positive tones. These rocks would be kept under trees and they would then become their place of worship. This tribe has a unique style of painting through which they pass their legacy and culture to the next generation. This art form was mainly practiced by married women known as Savasini. These women used to draw lagna chalk as a tradition on the walls of a marriage house. Savasin chauka sathi pit tayar karte. Te bhijavlele tandul dhapton agdi pit tayar karte. Bahari cha nawa cha gavat te gavta cha kaadi ne dhapat lele pitha che char char resa ungwat maavlat पाण्या अगोदर पहिली रेस ही गावदेवाची हिरव्याची हेमाईची आणि गावतरी कंसरीची दिस आर्ट फॉर्म टुक अ रॅडिकल टर्न व्हेन अ यंग बॉय जिव्या सोमा माशे स्टार्टेड टू पेंट नॉट फॉर एनी स्पेशल रिच्युअल बट ऑन एव्हरी डे बेसिस इन द इयर टू थाउजंड अँड इलेव्हन ही वॉज ऑनर्ड विथ पद्मश्री Now his future generations practice this art form. Sadashiv Mashe his eldest son also a Varli artist takes us through the process of painting. At first water is added to cow dung and a thin solution is extracted. is then mixed with gum that acts as a binder This paste is then applied on a muslin cloth as a background for the painting It is left to dry for 1 to 2 hours depending on the size of the cloth. For the white color, rice grains are washed and excess water is drained out. These grains are then crushed to make powder. which is left in the sun to dry for 15 minutes this powder is filtered and only the finer particles are taken further Thank you. 
some amount of water is mixed with the powder to make a thin paste. माला पण एवढा म्हणजे हे आपल्या वारली पेंटिंग मध्ये एवढा इंटरेस्ट नाही होता की कारण चौकच आहे तर चौकच किती चालणार म्हणजे करणार तर जेव्हा बाबाने ते अलग अलग पेंटिंग म्हणजे सुरुवात केली जे कहाणीवरती तेव्हा म्हणजे ती पेंटिंगला जास्त म्हणजे वाव सारखा भेटला आणि मला पण त्याच्यात इंटरेस्ट आला बाबाच्या बरोबर कारण बाबा अशिक्षित आणि त्यांना बाहेर म्हणजे आपल्या भारतातच कुठे बोलवतात एक्झिबिशनसाठी किंवा डेमॉन्स्ट्रेशनसाठी ते एकटे जाऊ शकत नाही मग मी त्यांना घेऊन जातो आणि त्याच्याबरोबर जाऊन आणि असं बसून काही करणार मग त्याच्याबरोबर पेंटिंग करायला शिकलं Using these materials and a set of basic geometric shapes, a circle, a triangle and a square, beautiful Varli paintings are created. The circle and triangle come from their observation of nature. The circle representing the sun and the moon. the triangle derived from the mountains and pointed trees only the square seems to obey a different logic and seems to be a human invention indicating a sacred enclosure or a piece of land art is the means of communication they were mainly illiterate so therefore the origin is the lagna chauk it started off like that that was the only thing they knew how to draw till they decided to include other motifs like the bride and the bridegroom and the wedding ceremony and then around the houses there are animals and they give as much importance to animals so therefore you will see even the smallest ant or insect is as big as a human being paintings on cloth i think has reached saturation point people nowadays have smaller and smaller houses they have no place on their walls to put this framing today costs more than the painting itself so now luckily they have some of them have now started making artifacts okay you have coasters you have table mats and then painting kurta varli paintings were never originally intended to be for commercial gains but as they gained high art value eventually they were widely commercialized One such artist, Janu Bhiva Raute, paints on sarees, kurtis, t-shirts, etc. Khubur se jale tela phante to panti phira de tiye. Ah, tika wanti na ningat nahi na. Coming from a poor Varli family and struggling for survival, he started painting to meet his needs and then never looked back. His paintings are meticulously detailed and he paints vivid themes on a variety of materials. Varli art has come a long way from an age-old tradition to commercialization. Still the artists and the tribe continue to live without basic amenities like education, health, safety. As we try to keep pace with the fast changing world, the Varlis continue to live in harmony with the nature, spreading the beauty of paintings to the next generations.